get this in there, kind of, sort of, can we do it, kind of, well, my voice is freaking shot, and we, and we swept them in three last night too, but, it felt like we were in there for a five setter, um, but we're eight and one in league now, and all we have to do is uh, beat Lompoc on Tuesday, who's in last place, and then we'll we'll have first place outright. Nine and one, SB will be Aiden, Aiden. Um, Eight and two, and SM will be seven and three. And it's been since 2011 since we've had an outright title. We split with uh, Sam Marcus in 2019. We were both nine and one, and we had lost. We had lost our home home match against them. I want to say in like four. We either got swept or we took one set off of it. I don't know. I told I told Megan last night after our match, after we we dumped the uh, water cooler on her. I mean the contents, which was water and a ton of ice. And she was wearing shorts and like a bolo, dude. She looked instantly hypothermic, but. Um, yeah, with that win, we were talking afterwards. It seemed like we were, we had been chasing that that match that got away from us in 2019, and like last night we we won, and, and we also got got that match off our back from two years ago too. And uh, to be honest, I was I was a little disappointed in. Well, I don't know. I keep thinking that we're teams we're playing just aren't that good but maybe we're halfway decent and we're forcing teams to play uh not uh not at the top of their not the top of their game it's possible i think maybe that's just the pessimistic coach in me that doesn't want to be doesn't want to um toot his toot their horn too much but i don't know the The first set, I think Sam Marcus missed four to six serves, and they hit in the net probably three, four times, and uh, we, yeah, we beat them, like, that was their best set, I think they got 20 points in that one, and small hiccups down the stretch, Um, but we closed that one out, 25-20, and then... Uh, it felt like every set started pretty tight, and uh, <clears throat> including the third one, which I think it was. I think we were down eight to nine, or it was tied eight all, then nine all, and then no, I think it was. I think it was tied at eight, and then we got nine, ten, eleven, and maybe even twelve. So we made a little push there. Um, but yeah, I just thought they didn't bring they they didn't have hardly any production from their outsides this time like they did last time. They just got I think they just forced their middle too much and yeah, she got 13 kills. Um and our middles got about four or five combined. I'd say the, they both their middles probably got about 17 or 18 kills combined our middles, maybe four or five. But we went 12, 14, and then our opposite got 10, which I think was her career high for this year, was 10. Or maybe she's done 10 twice, but yeah, she was pretty good. I don't know. I think just they spotted us so many points in like just passing out of system and um uh, Excuse me, service errors, and um, we were just too spread, really, for the first time. We blocked a few balls, and we soft blocked a few more balls than usual. 
And, uh, I mean, very seldom do we get beat by uh, any stupid or, like, not stupid plays, but, like, plays that we should get. I think there was, like, a couple, like, free balls that dropped between people because they decided they didn't want to, like, think for a minute. Or DS didn't pick up a tip and she expected the outside to come all the way over and pick it up. What else? There was another one. Oh, there was, like, a couple roll shots from the back that I didn't think we should have let drop. I felt like they contacted and we were standing up and couldn't react. Other than those probably four or five points, I think the we made them really earn their points. And uh, we were just we were just pushing them. We were just on the we were just on just aggressive. We were pretty good from the service line too. I want to say we maybe only missed about seven or eight serves all match. And uh, they missed more for sure. And I don't think they were making as many defensive plays as they did the first first time we played them. And we just we just powered. We just bombed it straight at them. A few times Porsche just literally went as hard angles straight at the libero as she could. And the libero like just couldn't control it. Or she will kind of flail and do a weird, like, one-handed attempt. Um, yeah, and I think the match point was was a shoot to Portia, and she slammed the angle for a no-touch kill. I don't at the libero, but she didn't even touch it, I don't think. Yeah, and this is on the heels of, like, Portia, like, coming down on our backup setter and with like 15 minutes of practice left yesterday and Aaron's got like a slightly torn like meniscus or something and then Chloe like caught her finger in the net on the way up a blocking and jammed her finger in the in the middle of the third set and people coming off um, not feeling so great just being exhausted and Natalie's still figuring out her, like, her blood pressure stuff. And, I mean, oh gosh, I think it's close to, like, the 40th match we've played. And, and Sam Marcus's record was, like, 17-4. and four. So, I think we've played, sounds like we've definitely played more matches than any of the three teams in town. And I don't want to say that we're necessarily, like, battle-tested, but... That's that many more matches to practice and that many more opportunities to to test ourselves. So, um, and we we should have played uh, the TLC also. That would have been another four matches, um, but that got canceled because of COVID stuff. But yeah, we I mean we swept last night. We went 25, 20, 25, 17, 25, 16. But it felt like. It felt like a five-set barn burner, and we were just, I think just because we were so invested in, like, every point, and we were telling them that we should treat every point like it's important, and I think we did about 97% of the time we, we, we treated them. There was a few times, like, those free balls where we decided everybody shouldn't take it when, you know what, I don't care if you're a freshman or a sophomore, if you're a DS... You get subbed in in just the back row. Pick up the tip and pick up the free ball. Okay. Don't get scared to to take a ball over the the stud outside. And I think I think um, also Megan just did a really good job of finding a lineup that works and staying consistent with that. And uh, it's you know it's benefited us. A ton, I think. And I also think that um, it sucks. It sucks that, you know, half the team doesn't play hardly at all or not at all. But that's the, <coughs> excuse me, that's the nature of trying to put a banner up. And that's the nature of um, trying to be competitive. I think I'm starting to learn that parents are always going to complain um, because that's their kid. 
and I'm probably going to have to hold my tongue and, and uh, try to not be a parent that complains in the future if my kid doesn't play a lot, um, especially since I'll be biased and think my kid's better than others, but I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty realistic with soccer and whatnot, she's, Skylar's definitely not the best girl on her team. I don't think she's the worst. I just don't... At one, I don't think if it's something she's really into just yet, but I see her being more active this year, more running around, more chasing, more understanding of, of what it is. Uh, but, yeah. So, I couldn't sleep very well last night just because we was so jacked up from that win and just excited and having it recycle through my mind over and over and just trying to, I don't know, it's nice, it's been 10, 11 seasons since we were outright first, and that's something we've been grinding towards, and we got it, so, ah, it's nice, anyways, alright, those are the thoughts today after basically clinching 10 a league, bye.